Say that boy Rallo be getting money. You ain't no nigga, you need to catch up. I got like 34 bows in the cut. Tell him I plug that he need to keep up. Okay, so if you clicked on this thumbnail, then that means you're really into center builds or you just like watching build videos. Either way it go. It's me, EC Rallo, the, the no life apparently, because this is all I do now is I sit back and I think of ways to improve builds on this game now. I think of ways to make better builds. And for all the people who are like myself, who like making center builds, not power forward, but center builds, and for all the people who are like myself, who like making defensive builds, I got good news for you. The seven footer is back. In NBA 2K22, you can make a seven foot player that will dominate and be OP. He can be the main focus of your offense and defense on the court in NBA 2K22. Now, last year, we all know it was a bunch of six foot seven through six foot nine power forwards and centers running around through the uh, park. Um, Nobody really made a big play. I'm not going to say nobody. Very few people made players seven foot or bigger. I did and a few others, but you guys got to admit, you didn't see a lot of players over seven foot in the park last year. Maybe, maybe about 20%. Maybe, maybe. I'm saying 20% of the big men, not 20% of the players. Of course, not that many. I'm saying about 20% of the big men that created that were created last year. About 20% of them were seven foot or higher. I say the other 80% were these little short speed boosting uh, glitching midgets that everybody made and called them centers and they weren't centers. And they were calling them power forwards and they weren't power forwards. They were six foot seven. They were 190 pounds and they were just a bunch of Kelly Oubre's running around calling themselves big men. But anyway, um, the seven footer is back this year. If you want to make a seven-footer that can score, that can dominate, that needs to be double-teamed, you are in the right place. I'm about to show you how. We're going to make a center. That's right, a center, and we're going to pick that green pot chart. You want that pure green. Now, I want you to go down one, two, three, three pot charts, and you're going to get the one with the strength, and the, uh, it gives you a little bit of strength and speed. The thing you take a hit on mostly on this pie chart is vertical, but if you're going to be seven foot or higher, who cares about vertical, right? All right, set your potential. Now, of course, we want all of our shooting batters. We, we can get 30 and we want all 30. We need all 30. Trust me, I'm going to love this. We want all 30. Now, our post fade, we really, okay, yeah, as soon as I get to 30 badges, we're cool. That's good enough. Actually, no. Give us all of our post fade, and we'll take some back on free throw, because I'm only going to be shooting free throw in my career. I'm not going to be shooting free throws in the park. So we can take some back on free throws. Now, pass accuracy, of course, you want that, and you do not want to be losing the ball. So you got to have control of the post. We take ten badges from playmaking. Also, now. We don't want your guy weak in the paint. So you need some interior defense. You need to be able to rebound the ball. Now, before we go, we're going back. We're going back to defense, by the way. We're not, we're not, actually, no, let's do it now because we want blocks also. We get six badges so far. Give me something. Okay, we got a 72 block. We're going to take that. Now, close shot, of course. We want that, and standing dunk, we want all that. That leaves us with five to put on our post hook, which we don't even care about. We don't care about, we don't, we, we're not post hookers. We, I'll post fade before I post hook. That's just me personally. I know how the post hook was overpowered for a couple of years. But I like to fade, I'm a fader. Right there, all we have is 47 badges. Badge upgrades, but that's all you need. See, being seven foot tall is a badge, with, badge within itself. I mean, there is no badge for being seven foot, but you don't need it. You're seven foot tall, so we don't. Matter of fact, we're not even going to be seven feet tall. Fine, we're going to take. We will take the fine. We we want to be seven foot one. We're going to take seven foot one. We take a two. We take a two point hit on our three pointers, which hurts. 
that kind of hurts. Look at how much stuff goes down when you go up to seven foot one. Strength goes up. Strength goes up. Standing dunk goes up. Uh, block goes up plus two. So you're like, Rallo, why would you even do that then? It's because you actually get better choices on the... Um, oh, see, this is a video game, so follow me. We're going to get our speed back right there. We're going to go all the way down to 215 pounds. Because it's a video game. Why not glitch the game? Perimeter defense and lateral quickness went up. Our interior took a big hit, but don't worry. Trust me, in the park, that's not going to matter. Now, you would think we would go down but we're not. We're actually going to go up one. No, you know, look at that. Oh, look what just happened. That 83 point. I think I like I like that 83 point. I like that's cool right there. That is straight right there. That is straight right there. That's what it is. Boom. Oh, school. of course, spot up shooter. Of course, spot up shooter. That is the build. A balanced score. I made a balanced score at seven foot one. He doesn't have alligator arms. He's going to be able to rebound and play defense in the middle, and you can't leave him open on the perimeter. <laughs> a balanced score. Let's see y'all create one, y'all. <laughs> That's all I got for right now. It's been your boy, Easy Rallo, for 454 games. I'm going to keep making these.